sodium hydroxide. This is sodium hydroxide. You can stop the image for reading the whole thing. The next is Co. This is my newest 60 plate cell. As I said, this is a 60 plate, 6 by 6 inches, and it's a dry cell, a complete dry cell. This is the water inlet with a water distribution system on the inside and this is the gas outlet. These are the gaskets. I wash them and I hang them out for drying. Neoprene. My drying plates. This is my last baby cell. This is a double nine plate cell. Here I'm drilling plexiglass. I had a small hole before and I enlarge it now. Very slow. Here I'm threading the hole you just saw. You're square to see if the thread is going straight in 90 degrees this way and also this way. When it's correct, then you can go on and thread very carefully. Because if you do not enter in with 90 degrees, then when you screw your piece on it, you will not uh, be able to have it tight or watertight. Then we have threaded the hole. We can screw in this fitting and as you see it has a rubber o-ring here that will press on this side and make it airtight. You can Tighten it with your hands and it will be enough polyamide tube for compressed air. So now I have this little piece. See, you can press this to get it out and get it in. And so your nipple moves around, you can turn it in all the directions you want. This plate is being cross-hatched. I'll show the process on a new plate. See, I lift it here and I go back and go down. Now I have scratched it only in one direction, this way. And I always use just completely fresh surface. And then I go like this. So the new grinding material here cuts very deep into the metal. Since this is the upward side, I cross hatch it this way, is not back and forth but down, up, back, down, up, back. And you always have to have new, a new surface here. And you can hear it. I don't know if you can see the cross hatching on, on the plates. This is a normal plate that has not been cross hatched. This is how I go about washing my plates. I take alcohol and 
brushed them. So I get all the fingerprints, all the grease, everything off the plates. And you let them dry. That's it. Rubbing alcohol and you have your clean plates. I go with this brush and go all this way. I use compressed air to wash away, to blow away the alcohol. This way, I blow away also the little dirt particles that still stick to the surface. My, my plates were all washed with running water and rinsed with distilled water before I took the alcohol. And now, after cleaning 20 plates with alcohol, this is the dirt that is left over in the alcohol. Look, look how much dirt. So it has a sense to clean the plates with alcohol and then let them dry so that your cell will run clean. This is assembled for a testing and this is also assembled for testing. I used uh, nylon bolts. This is my new project, a dry cell made out of tubes. The reason I took tubes to see it here is because they're larger and they allow me to put a fitting for each bath of the cell and actually obtain a totally dry cell with single containers as you see here for water which act also as bubblers. Actually it's a 12 inch by 2 inch long high cell and it didn't work so well. Something was wrong. Goodbye.